You both just said a similar thing, which is that I think, Mitchell, you said there's there's no facts in science. Yeah, it's a yeah. really important distinction that I think people forget, both scientists and just the general public, that we perceive the world to be in one way and we're looking at it and learning about it. And you can think back to many examples in, in history, whether it be the earth was flat or whether it be whatever sort of superstitious or current science idea there was. But even in modern day, like every single day, new reports come out that suggest something that's opposite of what we thought was true. And so in science, there's theories that are, you know, based on substantiated evidence, but that doesn't mean they're absolute and that doesn't mean there's a room for improvement. And so it's really important to always keep that open mind. And that's how some of the greatest inventions or discoveries are stumbled upon because they're accidents and someone never expected something to go this way, but suddenly it does. And now we have this great breakthrough because we're able to think in a new way. Um, and so it's there, I'm sure there are some things which are much more close to fact in reality, <laughs> and that's what science is searching for. But it's very, very rare that we would say this is absolute and I will never change my mind on it. And that's the beauty of science. If, if you present me with new evidence, I will change my opinion. That's interesting that you say all this because, um, you know, we seem to be um, in this moment of science. And we'll talk about in a moment why we're having this moment. But also um, it seems like there's doubt, more increasingly more doubters uh, of science and, and that they're more vocal than ever. So, you know, climate change deniers, um, anti-vaccine people, um, creationists. Um, are, are we, I mean, are we, oh, when, you, when you say there's no fact in science, are, are, I just want to be clear about what you're trying to say here. Are, are, are you saying that there's room for interpretation when we talk about science? Yeah, I guess it's more, it's more, okay, I guess what, we're trying to say is that it's important to think of science as an evolution, as something that evolves, and that obviously there's a lot of things that are going on in science that are very important to listen to in order for like society to become a better place. And I think it's just more that the idiosyncrasies of science can change over time. Like something like gravity is like in some cases many, still a theory, but of course we're not going to jump off a building. Like there's things that we need to really listen to and pay attention to, and those are all examples. And I think that. We're talking about people who sort of understand and accept science, like when we're speaking in this lens. And obviously there are a lot of people who doubt it to a dangerous place, and that's not who we're speaking to. And I think that the issue with people like who deny climate change or who are like anti-vaccine people is that I think it's like they are types, and creationists are types of people who maybe aren't going to change their mind even if they were presented with evidence. And that is a scary thing. And I think that it's important that the people think critically about their opinions. And I think that's why when we thought, when we, we're still thinking about making a video about why you should vaccinate your kids. and But we're really trying to think about the language because so much stuff out there is sort of right now just angry. And we're trying to think if we actually want to change the minds of someone who have these opinions that obviously we don't agree with and find frustrating, we need to think of an angle where we can relate to them and sort of try and actually, you know, butter them up in a sense. Mm. Hopefully they're not listening to this. They can hear our thing. <laughs> but it's something that we haven't actually done yet because we don't know how, what the right angle is. And I think obviously all the people who believe in those things, it's scary and it's not going to help society. And it's something that kids should not be learning because it's not going to make them become the people that they need to be in order to live properly on this planet. But also you do have to figure out how you're going to speak to them. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's probably not the best thing for them to think about how science is not fact. Right. We're talking about that when we're speaking about people who are already interested in science and who actually like are now thinking about the idiosyncrasies of what it actually means.